the real stars of the show here at Saratoga are the horses. So we thought we'd take you through the life of a horse. Seeing as how their English isn't very good, we're going to talk to a famous trainer of racehorses, Nick Zito. Hi, I'm Nick Zito, and I'm here with my horses at Saratoga. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the day in the life of a horse, uh, what time they get up, what they do, what they eat, how they train, how they basically live. You can see in the background here, uh, they, look, they look pretty good, you know, we think they do. They get up real early. You know, uh, 4.30 in the morning is basically when they kind of get up uh, routinely. Uh, their caretakers come in quite early, so they're basically up when they get here. And uh, they like to train. They're, they're born to run, obviously. So they start real early, 4.30. Groom brushes them off. Uh, rider comes in. They get on top of them. We proceed to the track. They have a good gallop. come back, they get bathed, they get a good shower, a good bath, they get cooled out, uh, we feed them oats obviously, as a lot of people know horses eat oats, and um, we also put a little sweet feed in there, that's their morning feed. So, so horse is in a stall a long time, they're in the stall basically 24 hours, so they need to get out. So in the afternoon, we, we basically take them out for about a half hour. Sometimes we make them graze. Most of the time, they walk in the shed row. We put them to bed, feed them at 4.30. So, well, excuse me, they go to bed a little later than that. And around 9 o'clock, they're sleeping. And that's basically the life of a horse uh, seven days a week. Race day is different. Um, they have to race, so you have to be careful. It, it's sort of like a fighter. I don't think you could go into many fighters in a locker room and, and you know and talk to them or whatever. So we like to keep them kind of happy and quiet because we don't want to disturb them before a fight. The, the caretaker will come in at 4:30 in the morning. We will get, prepare them for the race. The rider will take them out maybe for a little jog. Not anything real serious because he is racing, just to loosen him up. These cameras wouldn't be here race day. So it's a little different. Uh, he has to be left alone. He's gonna race with his buddies. There's seven, eight of horses in the race and you know, no one's rooting for him, put it that way. So it's, it's the way we do it and it is a little different race day. So I've been doing this since I'm a teenager. I've basically been doing this since I'm 18 years old, that's it. So that's a long way, you know, I got gray hair now, I used to have black hair, so, you know, I've been doing this a while, but that's it, so. The, the one thing that I love about this business, and uh, I tell everybody, no one has a lock on it. There's no exact science in it, there's no lock, and I think that's what makes it the great equalizer, and that's what I love about the business. But you still have to be lucky because it's just not, a, it's not, a, it's not an exact science. It's a feel and, and you hope that your, your turn comes up and you're blessed. And we've been blessed. And then after the race, naturally you hopefully that uh, you lead them from the winner's circle. But uh, we bring him back to the barn. Uh, obviously, he gets his bath again because he just raced. We cool him out 45 minutes to an hour, make sure he's all cooled out from the race. Made a little grass or just a little alfalfa, whatever he, we got from, you know, uh, and then we'll feed him probably a couple hours after he races because you want him not to, to be too excited after a race. So horses' uh, stomachs are different than human beings. and you know, uh, you have to be very careful with that too. So, and then again, uh, give him a nice hot meal, and then he'll go to sleep. 
and uh, my night watchman will watch him, that everything is okay, that the effects of the race weren't too bad, and we'll greet him next morning. But, but racing is, is very interesting because at the end of the day, you still have to have the fastest horse. But that's what they do. And um, like again, I say we're lucky to be in this game.